Uh, I just want to begin this video by apologizing if I go all over the place. Because worlds have collided. Yes, the big brother life and the survivor life has met. Because a bitch just got voted out on Survivor recently by the name of Liana. And she was echoing a lot of the bullshit statements that we had to hear with Big Brother and the cookout and the pro-black bullshit. Now, funny enough, it was right before the dumb idiot got voted out. But she went on this bullshit speech and diatribe about how she's a black woman no matter where she goes. Even though she's a student at Georgetown, she's still a black woman and and then she talks about how black isn't a monolith, which is horseshit when you talk about these pro-blacks, but I'll talk about that more later. And then she talks about uh, how in 2020, uh, black death became important. And then she referenced fucking Emmett Till, a, a death that took place like over 60 years ago. And, and then she just goes on and on about 50% of the cast being POC and how important that is. And she pointed to her ally on that, that, that's been eliminated already saying, I got to play with her. She looks like me. Just, just nonsense. All this pro black bullshit nonsense. And it's seeped in into survivor. Now, first of all, I want to address the whole monolith thing and, and her denying this. We all know when it comes to these pro blackity blacks that they 100% are a monolith, which is why they always got that term coon ready and willing to be used whenever some so-called black person doesn't agree with them. And then she talks about she's black no matter what, wherever she goes, She's seen as a black woman. And I'm like, bitch, you motherfuckers are always harping on this fact that you black this and you're black that. Like you want to be viewed as black. I mean, that's motherfuckers calling card now. I'm black, so I get to be racist. You know, I'm black. I get to complain all the fucking time, especially I'm a black and I'm a woman, you know, then you got both cards handy. But yeah, anyway, she went on this rant. I'll, I'll link, I'll link it to, I'll, I'll link the rant, rant to you in the comment section. But she went on this rant right before she got voted out, which I find uh, hysterical. And, and one last thing, like her referencing Emmett Till and talking about black death. I'm like, you fucking skank. 200 deaths, 200 homicides in Washington, D.C., 500 homicides in Philadelphia in this year alone. And both cities, both states, their police chiefs are fucking black. But you ignore all that black death just to reference a black death that you could find that was racist and you had to go back goddamn over 60 years ago. Like, again, that's why I can't stand these fucking pro-black pieces of shit because they willfully ignore what's actually happening. Because that's another thing she said. She said, oh, being black can get you killed. Can get you killed. Yeah, by other stupid niggas, motherfucker. Now, she's a Georgetown student, university student. Go over the, the black death and other races who have suffered homicide go over the deaths that's happened on college campus and who the perpetrators are their fellow wakandians so i just hate this ranting stupid bullshit that blatantly ignores what's going on but then again whatever she got voted off whatever but guess who had to chime in guess who had to chime in of course hannah and tiffany from big brother and here's a tweet from hannah saying since there are so many parallels between Survivor 41 and Big Brother 23, Big Brother 23, excuse me, 
Here are my predictions for the rest of the season. Rickard, or Richard, a.k.a. Kylan, goes out next. I guess that's the long-haired dude with some gray in his hair. Followed by Xander, then Eric, or Erica. We'll have Danny, a.k.a. Xavier, Heather, a.k.a. Big D, and Deshaun in the final three with Danny taking it all. Now, quite honestly, I don't know any of these people right off the top because I have not been watching this fucking season. But I do know Deshaun is one of the guys on the season that is seen as a betrayer because when one of the other bitches got voted off, uh, Chantel, which is short for Shan, because that's what they call her during the season. She called him a snake. But she wanted the Richard dude to win. <laughs> because they've been getting mad that the black male players are still in the game. You know, they're pissed off about it. You even have some uh, morons, again, once again, citing the cookout. Saying how the cookout had black men that were weak links. And cited Derek F. and Xavier as the wink, as the weak links. The motherfuckers were in final two, but they were the weak links. <laughs> I mean, again, pure delusion. And then you have another twatter on the survivor hashtag saying, four amazing black women getting treated horribly by the black men in their alliance for no reason on two different shows. Yeah, it hurts. You hear that, you woke black dudes? You hear that, right? Let this be a reminder, a constant reminder. You want to be woke? You want to be lip-tarded? Fine. Always remember, though, nigga, you're at the bottom rung. Always. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, you're guilty. No matter what, and you get the blame. So be stupid enough as a black heterosexual male to be aligned with these woke folk and these lip tarted folks because these bitches give nothing but disrespect and going back to the liana chick uh guess who is her crush on the show yeah it's the white dude xander <laughs> it's typical i'm so super pro black but uh where's my white guy <laughs> you can't make this shit up you can't make it shit up and it's predictable because it always happens every single time, which again is why you don't take this pro black bullshit. But guess who's cheerleading this shit? Of course, their owners, the white liberals, specifically the white liberal woman, where you have one stating the amount of messages I've received today about Liana and, Ex and Xander. I'm glad I can be the person for you all to celebrate the possible love of two 20 year olds on TV. Now, I guess there's been uh, a lot of conversation about those two potentially liking each other. And this white liberal female has been cheering it on at the same time. And you look at her timeline, she's also been cheerleading, you know, the same way the white lip tarts cheerleaded the cookout during their season. Again, another typical. But let's go more into this Chantel chick. Now, Chantel is the first Canadian castaway on Survivor. So she gets to brag about being a first because that's what these niggas love, being a first. But she's from Canada and she calls herself the Mafia Pastor. And here you can see that she's stating that she's not bossy. Of course, <laughs> Whenever these bitches are being bossy, they don't like to acknowledge that fact. And they rather call somebody racist or sexist than check their own goddamn behavior. I know right off the grip, this bitch is a fake ass pastor. A fake ass pastor. And people like this better hope hell ain't real. Because they're going to get first class seats burning for all eternity. Fake pastors like this. I mean, to highlight one of her instances of showcasing her fake pastor nature this bitch says god was pro-choice <laughs> and 
and then she hashtag a bunch of pro abortion aka killer baby uh hashtags like fucking typical man typical and then she cites why is facebook why is facebook survivor hating her so much and then she cites these things is it the pastor thing the black thing the woman thing all the above oh those are very logical options that you've provided because whichever people select it fits your narrative of course the fucking idiots that follow her clicked all of the above but i'm sure she just really wanted to say the black thing and the woman thing again entitled entitled both of these bitches liana uh chantel these bitches feel entitled they entitled to be in the game because they because they black <laughs> and they entitled to be called queens because they black and female these bitches are pathetic and they're just like the bitches that were in big brother hannah and tiffany hannah who is basically as black as kamala harris is which is why i like to call her kamala chata but again all these bitches all these beige looking ass bitches just spouting all of this nonsense and again i'm not talking to you if you're a white lip tart fuck you if you're a conservative if you're a republican or if you're just tired of hearing these bitches constantly play the victim while we see them constantly being rewarded not just in the entertainment industry but in the government i mean look at all the female police chiefs there are and and black females being put in positions of powers of corporation constant presence of black females on commercials with white dudes like constant praise and adulation and getting reward but yet we have to continue to hear them on a rerun talking about how much they're fucking victims please they are the chosen tokens the chosen tokens by the powers that be and why because they're the dumbest motherfuckers who are thirsty as hell and they're willing to say and do anything to get on and that's why they use them that's why they use them i mean you saw it in the recent vote for uh joe biden and trump like voters black voters that were veering away from voting for a crime bill joe biden uh haiti can haiti can uh fall at the bottom of the sea joe biden you ain't black if you don't vote for me joe biden the only sensible black people the majority of them were black males meanwhile black females months after his presidency still fucking bragging about voting for this dude the child sniffer himself among other things but again that's why they keep getting elevated they're the chosen tokens because they're the dumbest demographic thirsty for it all now anyway you have more nonsense coming from twitter praising all of this uh, bullshit diversity you have one twitter using saying big brother canada 9 big brother 23 big brother I mean, Survivor 41 have shown that having a diverse cast, not only in terms of race, but sexual orientation, gender identity, religion, disability, age, etc., is not only necessary for representation, but it also makes the show richer and more entertaining. No, it doesn't, ho. That's why the ratings are low. <laughs> no, it doesn't. People don't want to see this bullshit because it's not subtle at all. It's very overt. And in fact, it is very prejudice very prejudice very prejudice and bias against the man in general and very prejudice and bias against white people and when i say white people i mean the general term of white because again they'll call somebody that isn't white white to insult them when they dare not to abide by the monolith that liana claims black people don't abide by now it seems like the people that are that's left over in this season that still have a chance to win are the are the black dudes 
And you can just look at the Survivor 41 hashtag and see that they're displeased with that. They're displeased that the former uh, NFL player is still in the game. Uh, I think his name is Danny. And they're displeased that the other uh, black dude is still in the game, uh, which is Deshaun, who, again, got called a snake by the pastor, the fake pastor. I mean, all this tells me is that these shows are done, especially when it comes, for me anyway, because what's the point? No one wants to hear this bullshit. I, I might watch it just so I can make videos about about it, but like I won't watch full episodes like I used to. I'll, I'll watch the fucking highlights at the most, especially if I continue making videos about it. But Survivor 41 and Big Brother 23 just shows you what the rest of these seasons are setting up to be. Just a bunch of virtue signaling nonsense with uh, wannabe victims spouting at the mouth 24-7. And then while they're on social media, they're very combative. But yet, somehow wonder how can people hate them? Bitches, you earn your hate. You're very easily hateable with all your fucking mouth and combativeness and hypocrisy. Because again, speaking all of that pro-black bullshit, yet you still looking for the swirl. Still looking for the swirl. Fucking hypocrites. Survivor 41, Big Brother, the worlds collide, and Hannah, Tiffany, Liana, Chantel never met each other as of now, but they're all the same fucking person. And it's disturbing how millions of bitches literally sound and say, sound the same and say the same shit without even knowing each other. Like, that's fucking disturbing. 